From being a Hall of Famer, a four-time NBA All-Star, and even an Olympic gold medalist, Spencer Haywood has transformed the NBA in more ways than one. Not only has he helped pave the way for players to make millions nowadays, but now he's looking to be a game changer right here in Las Vegas. Before I came along, the NBA didn't allow players to leave high school, college, or anything. You had to stay for four years after your high school class had graduated. So I sued the NBA for the rights to play. Five decades later, and the impact of Spencer Haywood is clear every time you look on an NBA court. In that Supreme Court ruling, which I won 7-2. to two, It's a ruling that's now known as the Spencer Haywood rule, allowing college players to turn professional early, ultimately opening doors for players to make millions early in their careers. I have also created somewhat of a $33 billion in player revenue, player salaries. You know, that's what I fought for. So I didn't know it was going to be this big. I didn't know the revenue was going to come out like this. But since it has, I mean, I'm very, very grateful that I was the one who created this. The Silver City, Mississippi native turned Las Vegas local has left a legacy on the court. But now he's looking to make his mark in Southern Nevada. Why not? take a space in Summerlin next to Roseman University and build this retirement center and this retirement area for the NBA and the WNBA. Haywood says giving back to the community he now calls home is an opportunity to continue his influence off the court even more. The vision is to have it like condos for one to two people and we have all of our food will be there. And since we're working with the medical university, it would be incumbent upon all of us to work with that, that university so that we can have all of the health specialists, every doctors, all of the, you know, the physical therapists that we need. The mental health is the very key component for it. So awesome to hear Spencer Haywood reflect back on his time in the league and so great to hear him call Las Vegas home. Reporting from Charlie Friars Park, I'm Tina Wynn.